Hello, everybody. I'm Vanessa Pope uh, from the Pastoral Services Department, and I'm glad you have taken time to be with us today. For those who know me well, there are at least two things they know for sure about me. For one, I love all kinds of music, singing, and dancing. Yet, believe it or not, I don't play an instrument, and most people will not even allow me to sing in their choir, and to top that, I'm not even a good dancer. Secondly, I love the sacred art of writing. I do not consider myself to be a skilled wordsmith, but I'm a lover of words. For me, it's amazing how the holy uses squiggly lines on pieces of paper to usher me into an awe-inspiring moment. So when I was asked to share a meditation on the word awe, I thought the transformative splendor of pushing my pencil across a piece of paper would immediately become an awe-inspiring experience. Frankly speaking, it really wasn't. It was far from what I ever expected. I struggled to find words suitable for a high spiritual expose on awe. Words that would be a moving revelation of the splendor so often associated with things that are awe-inspiring. Things like the view of a radiant sunrise, the bright glow of a full moon against the backdrop of a dark night, or even the beautifully aged wrinkles etched on the face and hands of a beloved family member. I wrestled to put together every combination of letters, words, and phrases I could think of, but nothing happened. There was no amazement, no wonder in anything that I was trying to do. So I pushed the pause button, stepped away from a desk, and got involved in other things. As soon as I started to shift my focus, I began to realize that awe is a wordless language. It's the language of an experience. It's the language of the heart and soul, an emotional response to something we see, hear, taste, touch, or smell. Webster's Dictionary, Wikipedia, and other sources have done a really good job of scribing a meaning to the word. However, without an experience, the word awe becomes rather dull and lifeless. Awe is a feeling of wonder. It inspires and motivates. It is sacred. It is complicated and simple all at the same time. It is both terrifying and yet quite reverent. Awe is a science, a sacred science. Awe is all around us. Every day, it calls us to take notice, to pause, to look away from the mundane towards the mysterious, towards those magical and meaningful moments we all too often seem to miss. When you think about it, awe-inspiring moments are not reserved for special times spent on pews that are enclosed by stained glass windows. As a wordless language that is often difficult to describe, each definition of awe is unique to the individual's experience of it. 
we are the ones who give this word life and meaning. We make our exist in the world. For lovers of basketball, awe begins to happen when we hear the squeaking sounds of sneakers on the court or the unique sound in the flick of the net after the ball falls through. For coffee lovers, awe begins to happen when our hands cradle our favorite cup, feeling the warmth of the hot coffee inside smelling its rich aroma, or even when we take time to slowly savor the taste of every sip. For those who love to run or to walk, all begins to happen every time we see other runners or walkers around our community. It begins to happen when the cadence of our steps and the rhythm of our breathing seem to just take us to a special place. What is it for you? If it's not basketball, drinking coffee, or, or running, what is it for you? Scientists say experiencing awe plays a big role in our health and well-being and that it can help us to live our best lives. What gives you a sense of pleasure and ultimately ushers you into a feeling of awe and wonder. What's drawing for your attention and asking you to push the pause button? Your health and well-being matters. It matters to me. It matters to Vitan Health. And even the more, your health and well-being matters to your family and friends. My ask of you today is that you give yourself permission to pause, to step away from the rush of responsibilities so that you can even for a moment begin to consider the awe that's around you. Yes, I know it's difficult. It's really hard to hear the holy in the humming sounds of the monitors or in the tempo of their familiar beeps. Nevertheless, it is my hope that perhaps, just maybe, the next series of beeps you hear will remind you of how valuable you are and how your service here in whatever capacity it may be, makes a tremendous difference. May this very fact begin to usher all of us into the awe-inspiring moment about the worth and value of every one of our colleagues and team members. Push the pause button. Step away and notice the awe that is around you. Thank you for sharing with us today.